Well, the son of the late Justice Scalia is writing his own opinion about his relationship with religion. The new book, That Nothing May Be Lost, takes stories from the scripture and casts them into a whole new light. Joining me now, late Justice Scalia's son and author of that new book, Father Paul Scalia. Father, good to have you here this good morning. Good to be Thanks here. Thanks for joining Thank us. Uh, so this is a book that uh, really a collection of the writings that you have done for years. Tell us more about it. Yeah, uh, uh, as you said, a collection of, of things that I've written for, for various uh, publications over the years, uh, over the past 20 years. Years and and a lot of it while I was in parish work, and so they are different essays on uh, scripture, on the saints, on the sacraments of the Catholic Church, and all with a view just to uh, introducing people to them more and helping people understand them and uh, live these truths uh, more deeply to receive the sacraments more devoutly, and that's. That's sort of the goal. That's that's the right. purpose it's of the message that I think we all need to hear today. This is one of your favorite excerpts from the book. I'll read this. It says, "The human heart is created for the truth, and the truth is meant for the human heart. Too often we separate these two, or even set them at odds with each other. Thus, the great liberal and conservative debates: truth versus love, dogma versus charity. In fact, these two are to be united, and it is part of a priest's duty to establish." That union, I love that. Well, yeah, thank you. That's uh, exactly. It's very um, uh, central to my to my priesthood, to, to how I, you know, discerned uh, to become a priest was uh, seeing the, the need for uh, the Catholic truth, Catholic doctrine, really to, to be expressed and taught in such a way that people realize it. It is for their good. It's it's for their not just for their salvation, but for their fulfillment in this world. And and again, we we separate truth to be the, and and charity. So truth is a sterile, dry thing, and charity is unfortunately many times just made sentimentality. And uh, need to combine these things, as St. Paul said, we have to do the truth in love and always uh, combine those those two things. And that's what I hope that a lot of these essays do. Well, a lot of it was through your upbringing and what you were taught. I mean, we know so much about your father, Justice Scalia, when it comes to the law. But tell us more about him as a man, as a father. We've got some photos here. You're one of nine. We've been connecting over this because I'm one of seven. Right. We went to the same high school. We were <laughs> laughing that we both eat too fast still because growing because up, you're fighting to get something at the right. dinner table. Right. But tell us what upbringing was like for you. Well, it was, um, you know, a lot of people said, well, it must have been amazing, you know, the, the conversations at the table, things like that. But honestly, he, dad was dad, and and uh, even though he was a Supreme Court justice, and we knew kind of he had a, an important job, we we knew that somehow in a vague way. But he, he was dad, and he was uh, probably like any other dad, and he forced us into yard work, and uh, and he. But you probably a, didn't want to do half the time. Absolutely not, <laughs> absolutely <laughs> not. Uh, but uh, and looking back now, there's sort of a, a great a great reward in having had those times of you know sense of you know doing things um, uh, with him that it's. Th those are those are great memories now, but um, do you often think what would my dad do when you're in in situations now? Um, I gosh, I am not not. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> it's it's more. Uh, how, how would he how would he think through this situation? Yeah, and as re and as regards the book. Um, uh, it will come as no surprise to anyone that my, my dad really, you know, he prized the Catholic doctrine and, and, and the truth that the Catholic Church uh, enunciates. But also there was just this, this great love for, uh, for Catholic liturgy, the beauty that the Church has and uh, the beauty in her liturgy and in, in her saints. And, uh, and so I think he also lived that, that, that unity that uh, the book tries to express. So where can people find the book? You said it's out in March. It's out in March. It's on Amazon uh, or Ignatius Press. Uh, both those websites uh, have it. All right. Yeah. That nothing may be lost. It's a great one. Thanks for being with us great. this morning. Thank good to you. have you here, Father. All right. Good to be here. Thank we'll you. talk about growing up life in the commercial break. <laughs>